Good morning everybody. Uh, in today's video we are going to can, make and can apple pie filling. Okay, so I have my water bath canner here heating up. I'm going to stick some vinegar, white, just white vinegar in. It's so that the jars don't get residue on them. And then I've also set up the lids in my uh, a pot with water to slowly heat up. I've put the jars in the oven to heat up on 200 degrees. And the this is cold water. We're gonna stick the apple slices in this. So let me open my jar here. Okay, so this is fresh squeezed lemon juice. I'm gonna pour all of this in here. Um, this is so that the apples, when we slice them, don't go brown. So I'm just gonna mix it up a little. Okay, now let's start slicing some of the apples. So let's start peeling and slicing some of these apples. I bought apples from Costco. You can use pretty much any kind of apple, but I know some people are very specific on what kind they use. Um, these are called jazz apples. They have a sweet, tangy, crunchy taste to them, it says. So we're gonna slice and cut these. I think I'm going to wash these first. And get the other ones here. And get my colander. Put them right into the strainer here. I don't want any of the waxy or pesticides to accidentally get into this, so we're just going to rinse them. Yeah, let's do a little bit at a time here. Okay, I'll rinse these. Okay, let's start peeling the apples. I've just washed them. I'm going to try doing it with this. I don't think it's going to work. Nope. It's a left-handed uh, peeler. And I don't have an uh, apple peeler or apple core, so I'm just going to do with a knife here. I don't want my apple pie filling with um, peels on them. I don't find it gives a very good texture. I know some people don't mind, but I do. <laughs> So I'm just going to cut around the core and I'm going to cut it into slices. And I'm going to put it right into the lemon water so it doesn't turn the apples brown right away. I've got most of them done. I'm on the last apple here. <laughs> the lemon juice is working perfectly. None of the apples are turning brown. This took me quite a while. <laughs> I might need to invest in one of those apple peelers, the automatic ones where you wind it and it cores the apple at the same time. I don't usually have an overabundance of apples, like an apple tree or anything here, so I have never really had a need for one. Okay, Let's submerge those. Okay, so um, the apple peels, I don't have a compost bin, I don't have pigs, I don't have chickens, <laughs> I don't have a juicer. If I had a juicer, I would put all this in the juicer because the amount of juice you would get off this is actually quite a bit. My grandma used to do that. So um, I'm probably just going to throw them out. Um, so let's start making the actual uh, pie filling. <laughs> 
now that all the apples are sliced and everything, we can start cooking it on the stove. Okay, so I've got most of the ingredients here. So we're going to start with, see how much apple juice we have here. It says two and a half cups, but I'm going to use whatever I have in the rest water. So two, I have my pan heated. Actually, that's exactly two and a half. That was lucky. Okay. And then one and a quarter cups of water. Put that in. We need about, I've got some organic lemon juice here. I used all my freshly squeezed stuff. It says about half a cup of lemon juice. I'm assuming this is to help keep it not browned and for flavor. Half a cup. Then we need to add the clear gel. This is clear gel. It's cook type clear gel. This is meant for canning. Um, it's a thickening agent. It's basically like a cornstarch that's uh, um, for canning. You cannot use regular flour or cornstarch in your canning. It won't thicken right. So highly recommend you use clear gel. So we need three quarters of a cup of this, it says. If I can get it open. <laughs> Let me just get a measuring spoon. So we need to do this before the mixture gets hot. So this is half a cup. I'm gonna do another half of this. Right about there. I'm making okay. Just gonna close that up. Okay, I need a whisk because we need to whisk this up so that it doesn't clump. We're making our sauce for the, for the filling. I am going to add just a pinch of kosher salt. When you're canning, you do not want to use iodized um, salt. You want to use kosher salt. So I'm just going to add a little pinch, bring out the flavors. Okay, now we need to add two and three quarter cups of sugar. This is a half cup measure. Two, three, that's two cups, two and a half. I think I'm going to do two and a half. I don't want to do too much sugar. That's quite a bit. And mix this up. It's already starting to boil a little bit. I want to turn it down a little. It's already starting to thicken a little. Let me give you a closer look. As you can see, the clear gel is already starting to thicken. It smells delicious. Okay, so now let's add the spices. Okay, so in the recipe, I think this is just to taste. So one to one and a half teaspoons of cinnamon which is I think is what we got in here. So let's just pour this in. Mix it up. You don't have to put cinnamon in it if you don't want. Um, and then also calls for some nutmeg, about half a teaspoon. Now we're just going to let this cook for a couple minutes and then we're going to add the apples. We want it, all the cinnamon and the nutmeg to kind of incorporate into the mixture. Okay, I'll wait for it to thicken and then once it thickens we're going to add the apples and I'll show you what it looks like once it's thickened. Okay, so this is all nice and thickened. If we need to add some water to this after we add the apples, we'll do that. I don't want it to be too thick, but it looks like it's almost perfect. We'll see after the apples are in it. So let's add the apples. Okay, Ooh, just about dumped them. <laughs> let's get the apples in here. You don't need to cook your apples, really. They cook while they're water bath canning. This has a lot of lemon in it, so we're going to water bath can this. If it did not have the lemon in it, we would need to pressure can it. Um, but it has a lot of lemon in it. 
Plus we soaked the apples in lemon too. So now I'm just gonna mix this up. This looks delicious. I'm just making sure all the apples are coated here. There's enough liquid. Okay, let's see how many jars this cans up. I put seven uh, quart jars in my oven to heat up. So we'll see if that's enough. I think it might be too many, we'll see. I like having apple pie filling on hand. It gives you the freedom to make a lot of different desserts. You can use it in cake. You can use it like in an upside down cake. You could use it in an apple crumble, apple crisp. You could use it in apple bars. I do make apple bars too. They're delicious. My grandmother used to make these. It was like a layer of pie dough. Then it was like apples or apple pie filling. And then another layer of pie dough. And then she would drizzle like a glaze on top. They were delicious. One of my favorite things she used to make actually. Okay. I think this looks good. So let's jar this up. See how far this goes. Let's start filling jars. I just cleaned up a few things. <laughs> I like having a nice clean workspace when I'm canning. get my I like to use a chopstick for this part <laughs> I know it's a little unconventional but it works great you want to make sure you leave some head space um, pie filling does bubble up a lot so you want to make sure you got some room at the top for it to breathe when it's canning I'm just taking the air bubbles out there's some air bubbles on the bottom here See if I can put a little bit more liquid in. This is also why it's incredibly important to make sure you wipe your your, your rims, um, because this has got a lot of sugar in it. You want to make sure it's going to seal. So rinse just really, really well. You can also add vinegar to your to your. Oh, I put the lids here. Um, to your cloth, dip it in vinegar water, that works well too. Just hand tight like that, you don't want to over tighten them. That looks great. Okay, let's do another one. My goal here is um, three or four jars, we'll see if that's what happens. These are big quart jars, so we'll see how many I get. <laughs> I think the next time I do this recipe, though, I think I'm going to make double of the, the liquid mixture, just so that there's a lot of, um, of the apple, um, the sauce, basically. When things are cut a certain way, when you're canning, sometimes you have to be a little strategic on how you place them in the jar. It causes more bubbles when you do it a certain way.
I know some people like to use a knife in the bottom of the to take the air bubbles out. I don't personally like to use a knife uh, mainly because I'm concerned about it um, scratching the jar and if it scratches the jar there's a possibility of it ruining the integrity of the jar and then <laughs> it can crack and break on you. So I prefer to use something a little softer. That's why I use a chopstick. Chopsticks work great. <laughs> a couple jars so far that's good looks beautiful it's a little hot <laughs> I'm just trying to get lots of the sauce so it has some to soak in. Let me see here. Position some of these apples a little differently. <laughs> I find when you're making dill pickles, you also have to position the pickle into the jar a certain way. Okay, it needs some more sauce here. So I'm leaving it right about here for the headspace just so that it has room to expand and contract when it's in the canner. It will help with the preservation as well. You want all your jars to seal after doing so much hard work. I think we're going to get one more. Let's see. Yep, next time I'm definitely going to make double the sauce, <laughs> just so that there's enough when it, I'm putting them in the jar. I find the 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 chopstick also allows me to position things a little nicer because it's so thin I can get into the really nice fine spots and push the, the fruit into the areas I want it to go into. See how much that does. Okay, there we go. We might get one more, we'll see. If it doesn't fill the jar all the way, I'll put it in the fridge and use it for a dessert this coming week. So we've got four for sure. Let's see if we can get five. Mm. 
not a ton of sauce left, so we'll see. Okay, so note to self, uh, two bags of apples does roughly four to five jars. <laughs> Actually, I think I'm going to put this in a smaller jar. Then I can use it for like a cake filling or something. So I'm going to go get a different jar and heat it up. So I managed to put them all in this jar here. I squeezed them right in there. <laughs> okay. So I have some lids left here, but that's fine. Um, so now we're going to put them in the water bath canner. So I'm just trying to situate them so they're nice and uh, symmetrical. <laughs> Okay, so I'm going to slowly put them in, and then I need to put three to four inches of water over top. Really slowly. We don't want any of them to break. Okay, so see how there's not enough water on top? I need to fill it all the way to here. vinegar just because it's been boiling for a while and we just added more water. I don't want the residue on like the hard water residue on my jars. Okay I think that's good. So now I'm going to wait for this to come to a boil and then once it starts boiling I'm going to um, process this for 20 minutes. Okay, the jars are done processing. I've just had them out here um, getting cooled a little bit, so acclimating to the, the temperature, and I'm gonna take them out now. So this is the finished product. They look really, really good. Four quarts and a pint. So this is where I'm gonna end the video. Um, I wanna thank everybody for watching and watching my videos and showing my channel lots of love. I appreciate it and I'll see you next time. <laughs>